What's up guys, congratulations on the purchase of your new hook piece. In this video I'm going to take you through the correct assembly and disassembly uh, method for the round coffee table. So it's going to come in a box like this. You want to want to leave the piece in the box when you're assembling and the first part is to remove the legs from the chassis and click them one by one into the joints. So the, the way to do that is um, rather than just pulling out the legs, look at the top part of the leg and you want to spread the tooth uh, away from the back of the leg with your finger. So you spread that apart and then lift up and then you can lift the foot out. And then you take the, uh, the tooth part of the leg, you want that facing outwards and the large part of the leg facing towards the inside of the piece. Slot that tooth in and then just press forward and it locks into place. So you can see again here, I'm going to spread the tooth apart, lift up, and then I can lift the foot part of the leg out. Put the wooden end towards the center, tooth towards the outside, and push forward. And just repeat that with the remaining two legs. Spread the tooth apart, lift up, wooden side inwards, and hinge forward. And you really don't want to pull from the foot part of the leg because that could damage one of these stoppers right here. So I'm going to spread the tooth apart, lift this part up, and then lift out. And put the back of the leg in, and pull forward. So that's the assembly, we've got the legs in. Now you can lift it out of the box, and flip it over. And that's really all there is to the assembly. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the correct disassembly process, in case you need to store this away, or if you're moving. First thing you want to do is take the legs out of all of the joints and put them back into the chassis one by one. So the best way to do that is squeeze the flexible tooth inwards and then hinge the leg backwards. So squeeze in and hinge backwards. Now you can see we have the four profiles of the legs here so that's to show you where to store them. The way to put them back in correctly is foot end first and then the top of the leg. So I slide the foot towards the stopper right here I make sure the stopper goes into the rubber foot and then I press down on the top of the leg and it locks into place. Do the same for the other three legs. Squeeze in, hinge backwards, take the foot part towards the stopper and then press down on the top. Just repeat that. And the last one here. Hinge it back, foot end towards the stopper and then press down. And that's all there is to the disassembly. Now, if you need to store this on the wall, um, obviously this is very thin, it can be slid under your couch or your bed, um, but it's also designed to hang on the wall. So you can see this slot right here, and there's four of those slots, one here, 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 and here. The round coffee table is a little more difficult to hang on the wall than the other pieces because there's no real upside to it but you want to make sure that the cleat is going to lock into this slot right here. So I can lift it over, lift it over, push it up, I'll feel it lock into place, and then you can check that the two slots have grabbed each other so it's safely on there. And then there's your coffee table hanging on the wall. Actually looks beautiful, like a piece of wall art. All right, thanks for watching.